In this guide, we will be discussing the use of an open source workflow to synthesize and upload Verilog onto the Lattice ICE 40 family of FPGAs. Lattice ICE 40 FPGAs are low cost FPGAs with minimalistic architecture and very regular structure. These features make them both ideal for reverse engineering and also uh, for enabling open source tool chains for uploading Verilog onto the FPGA. So, um, so for this open source tool, train, tool chain, um, the workflow is a fully open source Verilog to Bitstream flow um, for ICE40 FPGAs. It primarily focuses on Lattice ICE40 LPHX or uh, low power, high performance, 1K, 4K, and 8K chips. But um, and for the ICE 40 Ultra Plus parts, but it also works on some other chips. You can find the full list of chips that it um, this workflow will work with on the Project ICE Storm homepage. <coughs> and um, in this list of chips, which is the current list um, at this time while we're well, as we're filming, um, you can see that for each different type of chip, you would have to modify the Arachne PNR options for the process. Um, for this tutorial, we will be using a 5K chip, um, but you can uh, modify according to your device um, in the following procedure. So the, an overview of the workflow, workflow for Project iStorm. Um, basically, Project iStorm uses Yasis to perform logic synthesis, um, Arachne PNR to perform placement and routing, and iStorm tools to perform packing and uploading uh, of the bitstream files. Um, so Yasis is an open source framework that's able to synthesize Verilog into gate level netlists in various formats. Um, these formats include BLIF, EDIF, BTOR, SMT lib, simple RTL, Verilog, and so on. And basically what this does is it converts Verilog into uh, into uh, logic gates or into a uh, BLIF format. So the next step, Arachne PNR accepts netlists in the BLIF format and performs placement and routing for the ICE40 family of F FPGAs. So basically, it takes this <coughs> sorry, it takes this BLIF file and um, tells tells it how to connect the logic gates in a textual format. And um, next, the ice storm, ice storm tools can um, basically pack and upload the bitstream files. So it, um, it consists of a driver, packer, unpacker, and some other tools that, are, uh, that will work with the X40 bitstream files. So altogether, um, this workflow starts off with Verilog and it goes through Yasis. Um, so it goes through Yasis where we create the BLIF file and then um, that BLIF goes through Arachne PNR where we use a text file to connect all the gates together and then the ice, ice storm tools are created to use a binary file which is then sent off to the FPGA to run the original Verilog code. In order to set up the tool chain that we will be using, there are a, a few tools that we have to install. So on the iStorm website, um, we can find three tools that we need to install. The iStorm tools, Arachne PNR, and Yasis. So before doing that, we have to install the prerequisites, which we do by copy-pasting that code um, into the terminal. So next we will copy the code for the ice storm tools and paste the code into the terminal and it will run through 
the installation process. Um, I'd like to point out that this part, these parts of the video where there, where um, the script is running, has been sped up, um, and it, it may take a few minutes, um, or more or less time, depending on which computer you use to install. So in between each installation, uh, we have to go back one directory. So we do cd space dot dot, um, which will get us back to the root directory so that we can install in the root directory. So this was, um, now we're installing Arachne PNR and it will do that um, on our root directory. Now we go back to the root directory, and finally we're going to paste the code for installing Yasis. And now we'll go back to the root directory and um, <clears throat> you can see iStorm, the folder has been created, and Arachne PNR, and Yasis. Once we finish installing the iStorm tools, we can navigate towards the correct directory for our example. So within this directory, you can see there are a few different files. There's a, a, a PCF or physical constraints file and a .v or Verilog file. In order to take a look at these files, we can use the cat command and um, we can see the Verilog file is here. And this is the code that will be controlling the FPGA, but before it gets to the FPGA, it needs to be conver converted to a binary format, um, which is what this process will go through. <clears throat> um, we can also take a look at our physical constraints file, um, which will basically show the placement of pins on the Lattice FPGA chip. So next we will be um, using synthesizing our Verilog file into a gate level netlist, and in order to do this we use Yasis. As you can see here, it takes the Verilog file and converts it into a blif file. And um, what the blif file does is it just shows a logical level circuit in a textual form. And um, basically this is a netlist which describes the connectivity of the circuit at a lower level. And so that's what it, it looks like. Once we finish Yasis, the next step is to run Arachne PNR. Um, basically, PNR stands for place and route, and um, so Arachne PNR just performs the place and route step, um, and um, it, which describes the physical placement and connectivity on the logic grid. For this example, um, we we are using a the Arduino, which has a 5K chip, and so that's why in our specification here we include 5K. And that's the feature for this specific device, but um, you would have to modify that according to um, which chip you're using. And um, so this basically <coughs> will create a text file from the blif file. So once that process is complete, we can take a look at the text file that we just created. 
and um, this is what you should expect to see. <coughs> So for the next step, um, we will be using Ice Pack, um, and basically what Ice Pack does is it converts this text file um, that contains the config bits for the chip into an ICE40 binary file. So as you can see here, we have uh, our source is the text file, and the destination is a binary file. And um, if we take a look at the directory here, we can see um, that there is now a blif file, binary file, and a text file that was not there previously. So for the final step, um, iceprog, uh, basically what this does is it uploads the bitstream onto the Lattice Ice40 FPGA. So uh, as you can see here, we're using the command sudo. So you might run into an error where it says, um, you know, can't find the, the USB device or you don't have the appropriate permissions. Um, so in order to overcome this, you can just use sudo and it will overwrite the permission errors. And basically this code uh, is now being sent to the FPGA. So you should expect to see uh, the LED slowly changing colors. In the final step, you will see the LED light on your board slowly changing color. To sum up everything that we've gone through with the Project Ice Storm workflow, um, it can be grouped into three parts. So the first step is creating the .blif file using Yasis. The second step is creating the text file um, containing the configuration bits using Arachne PNR. And the final step is converting the text file into the bin file um, that is used by IceStorm. And once that code is uploaded onto the FPGA, you will see this final result of the LED colors changing.